Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. To my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. I cannot uh, begin to thank you for the help that you've been giving me. You're helping my channel to grow, you're helping me to grow, you're helping me get a little bit more confident in front of the camera and I am just, uh, just amazed at the help and the support you've been giving me. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that subscribe button before you go. Everyone give this video a thumbs up and it's going to be a little bit different today. I'm not going to be doing any kind of unboxings. I'm going to be doing a chit chat with you. Uh, not really a vlog, but maybe a vlog, but something I'm not going to be doing weekly. Just, uh, just kind of a spur of the minute thing, looking for some motivational tips, hoping that you can help me out. So anyway, um, stick around and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so let's kind of just get into this chit chat and hopefully it's going to be not as long and not as depressing as my last one. So um, anyway, today I just kind of want, want to talk about trying to get motivated to exercise and, and eat right, and make smarter choices. And so hoping um, that maybe my struggles might be somebody else's struggles and we can kind of all help each other through this. So I just kind of want to start at the beginning where um, and you know I grew up in a small town years and years ago we had like one TV in the house I don't I think we were the first ones on the block to get a color TV so that's telling you a little bit how long ago this was and you know we didn't have computers we didn't have iPods we didn't have games we we played outside you know you went to school you came home you had homework you went outside to play your friends came over you went outside to play and um, you know we used to walk to school every day at I think we probably lived about a mile and a half from the school. Later on, um, we grew up and we moved a little bit farther away from town. And I think we probably had like a two and a half to three mile uh, walk to school. And I would take the school bus in the morning because who wants to get ready that early in the morning to have to walk to school? So my friends and I would take the uh, school bus in the morning, but we were too cool to ride the bus on the way home. So, you know, that two and a half, three mile walk every day, we didn't think too much about it. It wasn't hard. Um, we were active. We didn't do it to stay in shape or anything. It was just, just one of those things you did as kids. Um, on the weekends, we would ride our bikes or just go walking, whether we went to the town park to hang out with activities or go swimming, or when we had some extra money from doing chores, that maybe we would go to the next town over because they had a Woolworth and a snack counter and they always had these balloons and if you pop the balloon, you might be able to get a five cents coupon to spend on your banana split, or it was always something like that, or we had extra money. And probably some people don't remember this or don't know, have a clue what I'm talking about, but we would get the latest hits on the 45 records. So we'd get those and come home and later that night, we'd have a stack of 45s on our record player and we'd, we would play them. So. But I mean, it was just, uh, it was a different time. You, we'd go out after breakfast in the morning, maybe come in for lunch, go out again, just be back home before the street lights came on. Um, didn't have cell phones. Nobody thought about calling anyone to see if you were okay. It was just a simple time. And we were just always, always active and the weight just stayed off. Uh, of course, later on, I got married, had some kids and I worked odd jobs for a while, so I was waitressing and bartending, so I was just always on my feet, always active, so I had no problem with weight back then. Then, of course, later on, I got into desk jobs and sitting at a computer working and working right today. I think I, I put in 13 hour a day today. And so your metabolism slows down. You're not active. You're not walking any, anywhere, you know, to go to the store. We get in the car or you take your kids someplace and you go in the car and you sit and you watch them. So definitely, you know, it's not active like we used to be. So the weight has kind of gone up and down through the years. And I've tried different things through the years and somehow they always managed to work and I would lose. But then all of a sudden, it just kind of go back up again. So 
just kind of want to talk about trying to get motivated to stay motivated and what do you do to keep yourself motivated to keep your metabolism going and and once you finally lose that weight what do you do to really help maintain so those are the kind of things I want to touch on today and um, so starting I mean I I mean this has been an ongoing struggle for me um, so this past Christmas and New Year's Eve I went um, home to visit um, our daughters Rainer and Sabrina and went back and forth between the houses because well, you know I don't want to wear out my welcome too much at one place but I think it was a uh, New Year's Eve we had gone out for some Chinese food and a couple of drinks and then we were were home and I was just uh, you know going through the computer maybe checking in on Facebook and I think I went on QVC and I saw that today special value and they had that under desk elliptical that I've mentioned in a few of my videos and I thought you know that is a good place to start you know at the time I wasn't thinking about I don't want to I don't want to start a diet it's too hard I want I want to have fun I want to eat what I want to eat I, I want to have a cocktail after work or go out with the guys or something after work and have a drink I don't want to have to think about it it's wanted something to kind of get myself a little bit more active and I thought that would be an awesome start so I got that under my desk at work and I did start to you know within a couple of weeks I could kind of feel I had a little bit more energy um, my clothes were fitting a little better and um, my original thought was to just buy the one uh, keep it at work uh, while I was there during the week and then take it home on the weekends and then use it at the weekends at home and even though it's only 25 pounds and I'm embarrassed to say that it was it was heavy for me to get in and out of the car and in and out of the glass doors so I decided to get another one for the home so I've got one in my home office and I've got one at my work office so between them I'm pretty much using it seven days a week and it's been I got the first one on January 10th when I started really exercising with it and it was just weird because I didn't even think about that date but when I wrote down January 10th that's my mother's birthday so maybe she was kind of helping coach me along to uh, try to get fit again so um, so that's been working like I said I wasn't really thinking about dieting um, but I've been watching other people and um, before I get into that Stephanie Farrell focus Stephanie Farrell focus sorry about that Stephanie she uh, is an awesome lady she's got a YouTube channel and she's got a photography business she does different unboxings and decorating and she bought um, they got a camper a pop-up tent camper and she made it look like a glorious Taj Mahal inside and she's got videos about that and her travel so she's an awesome lady she's been doing isogenics for about 14 years and her energy level is I mean she's just always bubbly and just so much energy and she had actually reached out to a few other YouTube channels and um, asked if she we would review the isogenics uh, that she does for my morning shake and I was I was happy to do that so she sent me uh, isogenics the little shaker bottle and some of the pouches with the isoline shakes and a couple little treats and so I tried it for a week and I think that week I lost two pounds and made a few small changes with my diet and usually I get to work and I make coffee maybe I have two coffees and and water or um, we'll have guests coming so there's bagels so there's donuts so there's cookies or little tiny muffins so I would have them for a breakfast or something and a couple of coffees and so we started doing that morning shake thing and so I started doing that for breakfast at work instead so I take my water to work so it's like eight ounces of water a couple of ice cubes two scoops of this isogenics and I'm good to go this has got 24 grams of protein it's got 23 vitamins and minerals and I think it's about 240 calories so this has been my breakfast since I started uh, doing that with Stephanie after I went through the pouches and I saw that I had that initial two pound uh, loss that week I thought you know I'm gonna give this a try so then I bought some of these canisters and I've got um, I get like two of these a month and there's like 14 servings in here so that's like 28 days uh, during the weekends I'm kind of on weekends uh, I do have coffee on back on because I, I miss my coffee but during the work week this is my breakfast um, this is what I have at work and when I finish that I go right to a glass of water a couple of waters during the day and this is keeps me full till lunchtime when I start to get a little hungry again so and I think I've mentioned before during some of my Trader Joe hauls 
that um, usually my, the cabinet behind me at work is full of uh, like uh, different soups that you can heat up. I've got all kinds of sandwiches, like uh, the snack bars and things like that that I've been get, that I got at Trader Joe's. But a lot of times at work, I mean, we always have company coming into work and training classes and customers coming in, so we're always getting sub trays or or pizzas and things like that. So a lot of times that would, would be my lunch because you can't always resist that, that pizza, you know? So I would have something like that or if I had uh, made a roast chicken during the weekend at home, then I would take leftover chicken and a salad or something for lunch. But even though sometimes I would bring that in with every intention of eating healthy, I and it takes, what, two minutes to walk down to the break room, throw something in the microwave and get back to my desk. But two minutes when you've got like a stack of work like this is just too much for me. So a lot of times that's what my lunch was, even though I had plenty of stuff I could heat up, I always had the uh, Trader Joe's snack bars. So I decided, as long as I was on the Isogenics website and doing that morning shake thing, that I would get some of these. So this one is awesome. This is the uh, Lemon Passion Crunch. And it's a kind of cr crunchy, like a crunchy pie crust, but the top of it is like a lemon meringue pie. It's a very good. It's got 18 grams of protein. Say when I was having the snack bars and things from Trader Joe's, maybe there were five grams of protein or 10 grams. So this at least one, I know if I'm not taking the time to heat something up from that I took from home to for lunch, or I'm not having a sub, or I'm not having pizza, and I can grab one of these. I don't have these every day, so they last quite a while, but I know that when I do grab them, I'm getting 18 grams of protein, and I think these are like 250 calories or so, so it's not bad for lunch. My dinners, I'm still doing the same as I always did. Um, I've on lazy days, I do have lean cuisine so that I can put it in the microwave and it's done in two minutes. And while that's waiting, I try to make a big salad first so that I will fill up on my salad and a couple of glasses of water during the day. Uh, maybe tea when I get home, some herbal tea with some Splenda. So that's basically been my diet. Um, and since January, doing those small changes and then starting this, I think I started that in March. Um, so I've lost like 27 point something pounds, maybe 27.8 pounds. So I think I'm doing okay there. It's been a slow loss, but at the beginning, like I said, I wasn't uh, changing my diet. I was just adding the activity. So for me, I mean, it's probably averages to about uh, one and a half pounds a week since January. So when you say, oh, I'm, I've almost lost 30 pounds, it sounds pretty good, but it's been a slow loss and I'm okay with that. So anyway, I will leave Stephanie's information on um, the Isogenics. I, is, I think it's helping me. It's, I know I'm getting some uh, good vitamins, some minerals. I'm getting that extra protein that I need. Um, and, I, I'm, you know, and I think it just kind of started with that morning shake just because I have a lot of cream in my coffee. So I think that was a big change and just getting that protein right off the bat. It just kind of gets your metabolism going right there. So I'm going to leave Stephanie's information below in case it's something you want to check her out with her quest if you have any questions on that. And then I uh, want to get into something else. So I've been watching um, some other YouTube channels too as well that are doing the Weight Watchers and the Freestyle. And it seems a little bit, you know, maybe in, if I sat down and talked to someone I could figure it out. But I'm just not that structured or whatever to really follow a plan. But I've been watching Alicia Martin. And she's a really sweet lady. She is from Indiana, but she moved to California and she's a school teacher and she's very, very nice. She does different unboxings. I like the Stitch Fix and, Stitch Fix and the Dia and Co. She does some lifestyle boxes and she's uh, on her, she just started doing weekly vlogs on her weight loss uh, journey. So that's been very motivational and inspirational to me. Um, Okay, and I'll leave her information below as well. She's really a nice lady. And some of her vid videos that she's doing, uh, her vlogs on the weight loss, and she's doing the free, that free style with the different points that she does. She's also got some recipes uh, that she's doing at the end of her videos just to show some different things that she's doing. And in her three, three, first three weeks, she's lost 10 pounds already. So she is doing awesome. So she had a few tips uh, listening to her. And one of them was that she had uh, 
got this book. And so she had mentioned this on one of her blogs. And it's from Candace Cameron Bure. And you probably know her from Full House. Uh, she's been, uh, she's got into Christianity and faith. She said it wasn't so much when she was younger, but as she got older, she got into it. And that kind of helps helps her with her faith and raising her family and she's making smart choices and um, if you follow her on Facebook at all she is she's a hardcore exerciser so a lot of times she posts some of her uh, exercise routines and it's it's way over me but anyway so anyway this this book I've been trying to read you know maybe a chapter a week maybe a chap a couple of nights I think I read a chapter uh, a night it's it's a very easy reading um, great tip she's and of course it's mixed with her face so if you're you're into that it, it's really an awesome book to read and one of the things that I got out of this right off the bat well she does mention journaling as, as well and setting goals for yourself and like that but she also mentions that when she eats she eats till she's satisfied she doesn't sit there and necessarily empty the plate she doesn't eat till she's full she just eats till she's satisfied because a lot of times sometimes you know you have a big family dinner or whatever and you're all sit around eating and by the time you finished everyone's too full to move you can't even go for a walk after dinner sometimes just so full so learning the difference between some place there's a place where you're satisfied you've had enough and then you go overboard and you're full so for me trying to find that balance of being satisfied and not of course eating because you're bored or you don't know what else to do or it tastes good and it just ah oh, it's so nice to have something good in your life but finding that balance of being satisfied i think that's going to be one of the things i need to work on but anyway loving this book so far it's been a big help and um and this is uh from alicia she had mentioned that and then also Alicia had just got into some journaling too and so she got um, some new journaling journaling supplies and some stickers and some pom-poms just things to make it really fun and I thought you know years ago I started a journal so I thought maybe I can just find it and just add to it and maybe I can make it colorful and pretty and maybe that would motivate me so found my old journal and I printed it out and my first entry is from April 5th 2005 and it uh, was just 17 pages front and back and I do have some pictures and some charts in there and this I started to read it and I it just makes me want to cry it's not motivational at all so I do not know what I was thinking with this journal but to me if you want to do a journal you need to do something that's motivational it's going to be bright it's going to be cheery it's going to be something that when you look at it you're just going to oh that's a really good point or oh i did good that day you know it's you want to highlight your goals highlight your successes give yourself a pat on the back when you deserve it this was not it so to show you an example of this back in uh april 5th 2005 was my first entry in here so it says I've been exercising off and off and more off than on the past few weeks like maybe one day a week I would come home I scold myself every night before I go to bed mad at myself that I didn't at least try to squeeze in 15 minutes I think that I'm in the worst shape both mentally and physically than I have been in my whole life for the past few weeks I have been hovering at 175 I've crept up from a size 8 to a size 16. That's four sizes in the last year to a year and a half. My back is killing me every day, whether I'm standing, sitting, walking, or sleeping. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I go on about having panic attacks. I feel like I'm retreating inside. I feel awkward around other people. I even have to build up the inner strength to call my mother. How sad is that? I mean, at the time my mother was living in Arizona. I'm living in Minnesota. We didn't have FaceTime. And yet I was afraid to call her because I just felt that if she saw me, she would be ashamed and embarrassed. Now tell me, if you wrote this and then you read it a couple of months later, would that motivate you or would it just make you just feel like, I think I need to go have a Twinkie and sit down and cry. That, that was just pitiful. So anyway, that's basically what my, my thing was, just kind of scolding myself and feeling bad and feeling sorry. Uh, for myself and again this is something that I, I I kept up with for a few years that every now and then I'd get into the exercising habit 
and then I would start my journal again. So here I pick it up again on October 16th, 2010. So I, I wrote, I took last night off, low key, watched Jaws 2. And if you probably don't know me, but when my husband and my husband and I, the first movie we went to see when we were dating was Jaws. And so when we moved out to Minnesota, every time we get homesick, we would watch Jaws and in the summertime. And in the wintertime, when we would get homesick for Massachusetts, we would watch Storm of the Century. I know, how sick is that? But anyway, so we're watching Jaws 2. I said I did a little arm work while sitting with my five pound weights. Feeling pretty good. Let's see. Then I ex and then I said, I'm feeling good that I exercised for five days in a row and a day of rest felt good. So finally, it's like I wrote something kind of motivational that I felt good. And I was feeling so good, I had the courage to step on the scale. 190 pounds. I was shocked. I was thinking I was at least 180. And when I saw how close it was to 200 pounds, all I wanted to do was cry. So I started to say something motivational to myself, and then I blew it. Okay, so only got a few entries there. Here we am back in February of uh, February 22nd, 2015. I write again. So I found a spreadsheet last night. Once I started, one I started in 2005 and again in 2010. I must be on my five year feeling sorry for myself cycle. Anyway, last thing I knew in January 2015, I was 182 pounds. I started making small changes when Rick went back into the hospital on January 8th. Killing time on the computer um, in the waiting room. I saw infused water, so I started drinking a lot of water. So on the way home from the hospital that night, I bought a bunch of fruits, cut out my coffee. Maybe there's something about this coffee. I don't know. Um, my sciatica was killing me, so I'm not able to exercise, but I've been doing the infused water every day, and I'm starting to see improvements in my face. Like I said before, I lost, I lose weight in my face. Well, I did back then too. So I said, it's not so bloated looking. Um, the second week, I had a little bit more energy, and I'm able to exercise. So, so it was 2005, 2010, 2015, so I'm a little before my five year feeling sorry for myself because it's only four years. But I do have put in some helpful things like I put in a before and after picture that I thought would help me. So this is a picture of me at 190 pounds and then one at 147. And I've got my kind of some measurements off to the side. And 2015, I'm still exercising, 2017. So March 2017 was down a little bit more. So see, I've got my uh, bandana on. I'm getting ready to go for a bike ride. I got my Harley top, my Harley shirt on. So difference between 190 and 134. So, so that part was kind of motivational, knowing that I did it before. I know I can do it again. Oh, but uh, March 8th. So this is one of my last entries. March 8th, 2017. Where do I begin? Pretty much have not exercised since my last post. Rick has been very, very sick since the end of summer 2015. Many, many hospital stays, Grand Green, amputations, uh, dementia setting in. Um, I'm working from home, but I started working from home in August 2016 so that I could give him 24-7 care. I spend so much time trying to work, keep up with the house, take care of Rick. I have no me time, and yet I feel guilty when I do try to exercise, like I'm being selfish. But I need strength and muscle support to take care of him properly. Um, so it's kind of like I knew I needed to do it, but for some reasons I just couldn't. And that's, you know, a couple of pages after were my last few entries, and then I put that aside. But to, to pick up that and try to say it was motivational, did that journal help me? Definitely, as you can see, that I kept skipping five years in between, that it wasn't something I could keep up with, that didn't help me, it didn't motivate me. So I'm going to take Alicia's guide, or his first suggestion. So I got this uh, little journaling tool that I'm hoping is going to help me. And it's called Believe. You can... Believe you can, you're halfway there. So for me, 
I'm going to try to make this as inspirational and colorful. I got some stickers to put in. I grabbed my scrapbooking supplies. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both in here. So page one right here. So I've got some stickers in here. My start weight, where my weight is now. Well, it wasn't what I had on the 25th. May 25th is when I started this little journal. So I've got my goals in here. All right, I'm beginning. Got a thing on that little elliptical. What my goals are, what I need to get started, what I need to keep moving, uh, what my goals are, why I want to do it. And then some other reasons why I need to uh, get in shape. I just kind of inspire and keep my grandchildren um, inspired to know that um, getting old happens. I want them to know that they have a choice. Everyone grows, grows old, but you can do it gracefully and healthier by making smart food, food choices and by being more active. And so I'm just going to put in some pictures of my family, my grandchildren. My daughters be healthy for me be healthy for them and just want to start maybe doing things like that with a few stickers in between uh, when I when I hit a goal or I'm feeling like I did something I found something that worked I can write that in there and just keep it positive I think that's what I need to do I need to don't dwell on path the past kind of focus on what my goals are, what I need, what I need to stay motivated and just kind of write that down and give myself a pat on the back if I do something well or I lost some more weight or even if I didn't lose weight but something fits me a little bit better. So the non-scale victories sometimes are even better than the scale victories but we all like to see that number go down. And you know, if I see a, a, a recipe or something in a book, I can cut that out or print it from online, put it in here, and then just write my thoughts. I, what did I like about it? How this is helping me? And do I want to make it again? Yes, please make this again, Nancy. So anyway, that is my thoughts on uh, this chit chat. I think I ran a little bit longer than I had intended, but hoping it's something that you're interested in. Maybe you have some tips for me on what I can really add to this journal to keep it motivational. I don't want to do 17 pages front and back every few years and then sit and look at it. I mean, this this is depressing. This is one of the saddest things I, I've, I've ever read in my whole life. And this was supposed to motivate me. So you can see that was my struggle back then is I had no idea how to motivate myself. So there goes that. So hoping this works for me, reading this, hoping this works for me. When I do grab a snack bar, um, instead of having a regular lunch, I want to grab something with more protein, something with vitamins, something with minerals. The Isogenics Morning Shakes, I think these are a huge hit with me. It's, um, it's a good start to my day. And then follow up with, a health, with healthier, healthier choices. Maybe when the guys order a pizza, say hey can I get a salad instead or have half of that or when we get the subs take the take the luncheon meats off the subs or in the lettuce and don't eat the bread so it's gonna have to be like making smart choices making healthy choices and looking for your guidance along the way I'm going to leave Alicia's uh, YouTube channel below too because just the, the few things that she's mentioned in the three short weeks that she's had she's done her vlogs I think that's going to be an amazing help to me so if she's helping me I know that she can help motivate you as well and I hope that everyone goes out and has a fantastic week and uh, at the end of this I'm going to post um, that little elliptical thing so you can just see how how simple and easy that is to do and small changes smart choices and hoping that uh, you can help guide me along the way. So we will chat again later, and I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic day tomorrow. Bye-bye. All right, I just wanted to show you how easy this under-the-desk elliptical is. I've just brought it out in the living room. Um, at work, I'm on the short side, so my knees uh, going up and down doesn't hit the bottom of my desk at all. My home office, knees don't touch the desk. So it's a nice, easy movement. So if you've got any knee problems or even if you had surgery, but you need to kind of build up the, your leg muscles again, this would be excellent for something like this. 
Um, it's very easy to do. It's quiet. I'm, you, there's no noise at all. So it's even if you had uh, cubicles at, at work or something, no one's going to hear you pedaling away. Of course, if you go faster, they might hear you huffing and puffing. But it's easy to do. Um, right now, I just brought it in the living room. So if I wanted to sit here and watch a movie on TV, I could pedal the, the whole time. Get a little bit of a workout. You can go fast um, to kind of get your heart rate up. Or you can kind of keep, go slow, kind of just work on muscles. You can do both ways to kind of build up different muscles in your legs. So for me, this has been awesome. Um, I'm really enjoying this under desk elliptical. I think it was a really good investment for me. And again, I just wanted to share that with you. So we will be back another time. We will chat again soon. Thanks, everyone.